you're looking at the start here page of our B, uh, BUSN 1440 Blackboard course and we're going to look at this for a minute and then we're going to jump into the SAM website but I do want to talk to you for a couple minutes about the SAM website and how important it is that you have access to that site this semester for our course. On the start here important page, item number seven reminds you to register on the SAM site using the provided registration instructions at the end of this item, item number seven. You can get to SAM via the SAM important area on the left side of the screen which is right here. There are several things in that uh, link that will help you out with SAM. Uh, the SAM URL, the website address for SAM is sam.cengage.com and if your computer is set up like mine, as soon as you type SAM in the address bar on your browser, it should automatically put this uh, in there if you have gone to the site previously. Uh, this video link that is provided here will give you instructions to register in SAM and this little short um, video is uh, very lively and will give you quick information on how to register for SAM. Now, uh, just as a quick look, I'm going to look at the SAM important link and there are several things here. This is how you get to the SAM website. You can just click right here and it will take you to the SAM website. You can also go out of Blackboard and go into a browser and any browser except uh, Microsoft Edge should be fine. Microsoft um, Internet Explorer would be fine, Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, a lot of the other browsers that are available that you might like are good to get into SAM. Here is a video on how to register and log into SAM. Here is a quick start guide, two pages long, about how to get into and register into SAM if you prefer reading and looking at the pictures. Here is a video for four minutes long about getting started in SAM, how to find and use the ebook version of your textbook, which is a video too, and then technical support if you need SAM technical support. Instructors don't know the guts of SAM. We're not expected to. I have no idea what the code is written like to make SAM work. So if you have a problem with SAM, if something happens that you can't make it work, it's not telling you you've done your exercises, you need to contact technical support for SAM. And this is the link right here that you'll use to do that. Um, I cannot help you with fixing SAM. I'm sorry. I, I do know a lot about this course. I know how to use SAM, but I sure can't fix it for you. So always contact the SAM keyboarding technical support team. All right, let's go to SAM. I'm going to go to my browser. I use Mozilla Firefox, which is just my choice. Um, it's not necessarily the best one, but as soon as I start typing in SAM, here's the rest of the URL. I'm just going to press the enter key to get to the uh, login page for SAM. Now, your login is going to be totally different than mine, so just log in the way you normally would and click the login button. Now, if you'll notice, the first time you log in, you're going to see these things that you might need, depending on how you got your book and your access code. Um, you might want to check your computer system to see if it's compatible with SAM. If you're a totally new user, you'll start here so you can register in it by typing in your, I think it's a 16 digit um, key code. But I've already done all that, so I'm just going to click log in. And it takes me to this page as an instructor. I'm going to switch to the student view and just show you around a little bit. To the best of my knowledge, this is what your view looks like. Now, there are tabs up here at the top of the screen. There's an activity calendar, which I wish was available, but at this time it is not. Hopefully in the future it will be, but if you click on it, it will tell you that keyboard is not available in this calendar. The activity list, these are the um, lessons that you are required to do in SAM, and they're listed over here, the little black triangles, um, indicate that they will expand, open up and expand to show you um, a name of an exercise or a group of exercises. So I click on lesson one. This is a review lesson. It reviews the home row, the space bar, the enter key, and the I key. Um, most of all the lessons that you're required to do 
in the first week of the semester are review lessons. You are not required to do the first 25 lessons in the book. They are what are taught in BUSN 1100. But for those of you who did not take that course, you need to know what was taught in BUSN 1100 because you are going to use all of that information in our course BUSN 1440. So I always start my courses in 1440 the first week with a review of BUSN 1100 information. You'll do some of the review lessons. You will see the handouts that I've posted for you in Blackboard and every bit of that is is important to your success in BUSN 1440. Now, up above Lesson 1, the Skill Analysis Timed Writing, this is the first timed writing of the semester. Everybody's required to do it. It's three minutes long. I know you're eligible to take the class because you were allowed to register for the class, but you need to prove that in BUSN 1440, you have the speed and the accuracy skills that got you into the course. And every single timed writing that you get a grade on in BUSN 1440 has to meet those State of Georgia standards of at least 25 words a minute in speed and no more errors than there are minutes in the timed writing. So on a three minute timed writing, you are allowed to have three errors, but anything after three errors is a zero. Any speed less than 25 words a minute is a zero. So starting with the first week of the semester, you have a timed writing, the skills analysis timed writing, that is counted as a test grade that will allow you to prove yourself um, and your typing skills right off the bat. If you fail it, that's okay. You don't have to get out of the course, but you have to remember that you have to maintain that speed and accuracy on timed writings all the way through the semester. Um, it's one of the state standards that you um, met to be eligible for this class, so you have to continue to meet it while you're taking the course. Now, you'll notice I don't have lesson two, I don't have lesson six, I don't have lesson 14, 15, 16, 17 in here. It's because they are not review lessons. You are required to do the review lessons. You will get graded on these lessons. So if you say, I don't wanna do this stuff, it's too simple, it's a waste of my time, that's fine. You decide, but don't forget, you will get graded, and if you don't do the lessons for the first week, then uh, you will have zeros in your grade book at the end of the week for not doing them. Now, the first week goes through lesson 25. You only go to lesson 24, and you don't have to do several of the other lessons in between there. There are a couple timed writings. They are three minutes long. Um, some of them are very short and sweet and simple. Some of them get a little longer, but anyway, they are what is involved in the review of BUSN 1100. Let's choose, let me see, over here on the right side of the screen, um, when you finish a lesson, it should say submitted. I finished lesson one twice, and it still says I'm in progress here. Um, lesson four, I think I almost finished it, but I may have stopped. I'm going to go to lesson five, which says I have not attempted it. So I'm going to click on lesson five. And then to get into the lesson, I'm going to click the text underneath lesson five that tells me what I'm going to be doing. Now, if you'll notice this column over here, the date is January 14th. Whatever the date is in this column is when the uh, lessons are due. It's the deadline for finishing those. So let's go back over here and click on Review R, right shift. You get an instruction page that says complete the basic review exercise to the best of your ability. Sam expects you to earn a grain of 80 or higher in order to move on to the next exercise. Now this little phrase right here, Sam expects you to earn a grade of 80 or higher, will often frustrate you because you're in a hurry and you're typing and typing and typing and you're making errors like crazy. Sam's going to make you do that over until you get it good. Now, the philosophy behind that is you can type as fast as the wind, but if your typing is full of mistakes, nobody's impressed. You need to be accurate. And if you'll remember in the syllabus, the, the goal of BUSN 1440 is mailable documents, and mailable means error-free. So if you're typing 50, 60, even 40 words a minute, but you're making a lot of errors, make yourself slow down. 
make yourself slow down and focus on fewer errors because the fewer errors you make the higher your grade will be so remember Sam expects you to earn a grade of 80 or higher on every exercise you do and if you don't it's gonna make you go back and do it over and over and over again until you get it do do, do get it well so do it well the first time and not have to do it over and over and over again uh, it goes on to say read it read each instruction completely before attempting a task make sure you know what's going on before you start some tasks contain multiple steps once you've completed everything click the submit button to submit the entire assignment all right I'm gonna click start this is the screen that appears it will usually have a typing screen on the window it tells you what the name of the exercise is over here is the task list for this lesson if you click the plus sign you'll see all of the typing exercise or typing drills that you're going to be doing in this particular lesson the arrows to the left and right will move you forward to the next one or backwards to the previous one also here is the list of tasks you are on number one right now of 21 different typing tasks in this lesson um, this will give you it, a lot most of the screens will give you the text you're supposed to type the instructions say key this line at a comfortable pace and tap enter tap enter one time if it wants you to type tap enter more than one time it will tell you so it says key this line at a comfortable pace and tap enter circle order record Frank Sarah Tanya Henri Candor press enter all right now key this line at a comfortable pace and tap enter circle order record Frank Sarah Tanya Henri Candor I've completed the task my gross words a minute speed was 73 words a minute now I can either click on next task or if you'll notice the N is underlined I can just hit the N on the keyboard and it moves on to the next one here we are task 2 of 21 and in the here we it's the same process all through these typing drills they're very easy this is very user friendly I'm going to open the task list see and now there's a check mark because I finished the first one um, let's go down here to the timed writing and click on it all right key exercise 5rd on page 1-16 in your textbook the timer will start when you begin to type the text will automatically word wrap tap enter to begin a new paragraph do not tab tap enter to start the timed writing you will just type what you see in the book on page 116 so I'm looking at page 116 in my book and the timed writing is at the bottom of the page it starts with Connie the word Connie is not tabbed over this paragraph is not indented so if it's not indented in the book you don't indent it when you type so here I am typing Connie said that her son can cook for her friends at noon hit the spacebar one time he is a trained chef and likes to cook for others period one space bar he can locate and choose the food space bar Harold offered to do all of the dishes I think that is also a nice offer period all right this is a three-minute timed writing I'm going to stop the video and let the